we know that customizing resumes and cover letter is important. Even if you're applying to the same job, customer service or retail person, but there are a few things in the job description, the, uh, mm -hmm. the uh, key words, as we talked about that sometimes applicant tracking system will scan it. So in that sense, what tips you have for people in order to make sure that they are customizing their resume and cover letter for each job? You have to do that. If a company feels that you're bulk mailing or you're bulk applying to jobs, you lose credibility and your chances of getting a job go way down. Mm -hmm. People want to know why you why you've targeted their company. People hire people that are interested in working for them, know something about their company, know the challenges their companies are facing. So it's all in your preparation. So if you're going to submit a resume, you really have to read everything about the company. You have to know what they stand for. You've got to go on their websites, but read what press and media is being said, like read what other people are saying about mm -hmm. them. When you approach them, you've got to tell them in your cover letter why you've targeted them. I've yeah. targeted you for this reason. I'm hearing great things. Everybody wants to think that people really want to work for them yeah. um, and people hire who they like. Yeah. And so if I'm interviewing the perfect candidate with the exact skill sets, but I don't really care for them. And I interview somebody that I like that told me they really want to work for me and they're really interested and they know everything about my company. I'm going to hire that person and teach them what they don't know. Yeah. So it's so important that before you do your resume, before you send it out, you've done your research and then always, always customize your career summary. Yeah. You want to put the keywords at the top of your career summary. Remember the automatic parsers read the top one third of your resume. That's yeah. all they read. So you want the keywords that are most important to each company you want that to be at the top of your career summary. And then your core competencies, what soft skills do they want? Mm -hmm. If I'm in retail, you know, obviously I've got to be, you know, I've got to be customer service oriented. I have to have good communication skills. Yes. I've got to be willing to, you know, a team player, yes. you know, so, so think of what's important to the companies. And mm -hmm. that's what your resume has to reflect. Your resume is either a ticket to the interview or it's causing you to be screened out. Yes. So if you're not getting responses from your resume, it's not a ticket to the interview. Yeah. Look at your resume as if you're the person that's doing the hiring mm -hmm. and then you'll make changes. You'll make changes. Is there any requirement like I think we talked about should be one page, two page? If at all possible, one page, you know, never go back more than 10 years. The only time I would suggest going back further is if say you were in a career 12 years ago and you want to go back to that career and your experience is 12 years old, then you got to go back where you had some experience with the industry or the job that yeah. you're going after. Other than that, just the last 10 years. And, and they don't want to know, your resume should not read like a job description. Mm -hmm. If I could give my resume to you, say that you and I did the same job. Yeah. And if I could give my resume to you and you could use it, it's not a resume, it's a job description. Mm -hmm. So your resume should have one or two sentences that are an overview of what you did and then three to five bullets. I did this, the impact was this. I did this, the impact was this. Mm -hmm. They don't need to hear every duty and responsibility. They know what you do, yeah. you know? So it should not read, if you if your resume reads like a job description, it's not a ticket to an interview. Yes. It should just highlight accomplishments, yeah. impact, and yeah. be a sales tool. And what about the cover letter? Because there's a debate that, is it a must, not a must? People are reading, researchers are not reading. So what are your thoughts and what should be included there? The cover letter should have information that your resume does not or your CV does not. Mm -hmm. So first of all, in the very top of the cover letter, you've got to, if you're applying for a specific job, yes. you want to say this is in response to your, and then tell them what job that you're yes. you know, responding to. And, and right after that, you say, I'm, I'm sending this, my, my resume or CV to you because I'm confident I can do the job mm -hmm. and I'm very interested in working for your company for the following reasons. So you tell them what job you're applying for and why you're interested. I'm interested because I'm confident, but I'm interested in your company also for the following reasons. Then you give them a short overview of why you think, what makes you different better than anybody else. And the third paragraph is, I will call you within the next five days to hopefully set up a conversation or an interview. Mm -hmm. I really look forward to the conversation. And then you, you, every time you submit a resume, you submit it by mail. Mail is so much more effective than online. And again, just put personal and confidential in the bottom left-hand corner so they open it. And then you set up a follow-up call and you call them, yeah. you know, and, and they're impressed by that. They're impressed that you sent it by mail. You're going to call them. You're not just doing it online. And if, if say they've got an, a job board ad and they say apply online, your cover letter can say, I applied online, but I don't want to get lost in the shuffle. Mm -hmm. And I really am confident and interested in your job. So I also wanted to send this to you and, and send it to the boss's boss. And let me tell you why. 
you might have a degree and the boss might not have a degree. You might have more experience than the boss, but the boss's boss would love that. Mm -hmm. And so that's why you want to go a couple levels higher than your immediate boss when you do send things by mail. Those are great tips, Bob. Thank you very much. And again, for the audience, if you have any other tips, please leave them below and implement all the tips that Barb is giving. So tune in uh, next time for another great question with Barb.